when an audience goes to see Tomorrowland in the Dolby Cinema, I do think that they're gonna have a greater appreciation of the work that goes into it. They will be able to experience film and Brad's vision in a new way. I think it will be such a clear experience that the idea that you're in a theater will start to drop away. Dolby Vision, it's laser projection. Um, it's an incredibly bright image, it's unbelievably sharp, and it has a much bigger color spectrum. You can see details in the darks. Even though they're really black, you can see detail in them. So for me, it's like a super amped up image that is everything that you would hope for. And that's what should be done with technology is, is like, you know, if you can present a story in a more vivid manner, that's everything that you want as a director. Dolby Vision, when you go to see it in the theater, it, it will be like nothing you've seen. It's a lot like looking through a tinted window and then rolling that window down. You know, everything's opened up to you. Colors are richer, the brightness and contrast is more true. It's just more like real life. There's a few spots in the movie where we really take advantage of the Dolby Vision capabilities. And the story was written and these scenes were designed more or less specifically for this experience of there are many scenes in the movie that are designed specifically to emphasize the almost dystopian picture of our world that we start with in the movie to the idealized, very clean, very rich world of Tomorrowland. And being able to basically have the expanded color palette and the expanded brightness really allows you to experience that in a new way. It allows you to, to see the richness of color. And in Tomorrowland, we do that in many ways to make you feel how alive things are and the clarity and the brightness of the sun as it's hitting the architecture. I'm a longtime admirer of Dolby's Atmos, their sound system, which I'm a big believer in. The two things they had in their demo reel were both from my films. And so I was just sitting there waiting for a chance to do Atmos because I, I the last film wasn't in it and this film is. Atmos is a better representation of that spatial reality by having speakers above us, having more articulation around us. It pulls you into the movie because it envelops you and it immerses you and you feel like you're inside something as opposed to watching it from the outside in. All will be explained as soon as you touch this pen. When she, she touches a pin and then she goes from, from her current world to the Tomorrowland world. And a lot of those moments take place in a wheat field, so the sound of wheat is great, especially in Atmos where you can put it all around you, so kind of stay in one place and the world shifts from where you are to where you could be. So everything around you just changes for whatever bit of time and then changes back. So that was a very unique moment in the movie to have those moments of alternate realities. Now that we have the Dolby Cinema, combined with the Dolby Atmos, the experience will just be much richer. A combination that pulls you out of the experience of being next to someone in a theater and puts you into the experience of the movie.